Hi, this is Scott Cartwright. And this is Dr. Rudy Cartwright, your MS Health Coach. And we want to thank you for checking out this video. You're here to find out if low-dose naltrexone is helpful in multiple sclerosis. We'll let you know here in just one second, but a little bit about us. As I said, my name is Scott Cartwright. I have a master's degree in public health, and I work with people and their diseases all day on a daily basis. I'm also the founder and creator of MS Health University. I put the site together because MS affects me personally. That's how I got involved with it because my wife has MS. And she was diagnosed uh, several years ago and we've been dealing with the ups and downs that go along with that. I'm sure you know how it goes. Dr. Cartwright again. I'm a brain surgeon and an expert in multiple sclerosis. And you might be wondering how a brain surgeon knows so much about multiple sclerosis. Well, I have over 35 years of training and experience. And during that period of time, I've seen my share of brain injuries and spinal cord injuries. And, you know, and those injuries have been because of car accidents, motorcycle accidents, truck accidents, bicycle accidents, you name it. And what occurs through the spinal cord and brain over a short period of time occurs in multiple sclerosis over an extended period of time. Now why am I so passionate about multiple sclerosis and those who are recovering from multiple sclerosis? Well, several years, uh, several years back, my daughter-in-law was uh, diagnosed with multiple sclerosis while she was in the middle of her medical school training. And my son got on the horn and called me and I said, look, don't fear, I know what to do about that. But that, uh, you know, just to make sure, I went up back to the library doing a great deal of research, and then I put together a program for her that she followed. And I'm happy to say that she finished her medical school training, and now she's in the middle of her residency training doing quite well. And that's where I was willing to leave it. And then one day he walked in and said, Dad, you got to share this information to other, you know, with other MS recoverers. And I said, no way, no way, no way, no way, I'm not interested in the limelight. But he kept hammering on me and hammering on me and hammering on me, and I finally gave in, and now I'm talking with you, and that's why I want to share this kind of, this kind of information with you, so that you can be on the road to recovery also. All right, perfect. And here is my uh, uh, diploma, five years, you know, in neurosurgery from Baylor College of Medicine. All right, great. So before we move on and figure out if low-dose naltrexone is valid as a multiple sclerosis treatment, I need to let you know that Dr. Cartwright is a medical doctor with over 35 years of training and experience, but the information we're sharing with you today is for informational purposes only and should not be considered as medical advice. Dr. Cartwright has not seen you as a patient and cannot give you medical advice, so whatever you do, please be sure to consult your doctor before you make any changes to your medical routine. Okay, LDN or low dose naltrexone. Uh, this, this drug has been around for many years, actually it was you know, developed in 1963. And they used it for uh, people who had uh, heroin dependency. and. For some reasons, some gentleman out there said, I wonder what would, uh, what would be the effect on the immune system. So he reduced it down to 3 milligrams to 4.5 milligrams, you know, taking it at night time. And subsequently, it, they learned that it did have an effect on the immune system. And for some reason, someone out there says, I'm going to try it with multiple sclerosis. And, and they found out that it was very helpful. And do we know what it actually does for you uh, when you have MS? Well, yes. Your spasticity can get better. Your fatigue can get better and so forth and so on. Actually, low-dose naltrexone is uh, known worldwide. Worldwide. And for those who have multiple sclerosis, it is known and published to be beneficial beneficial in terms of your multiple sclerosis but it just so happens that in this you know it's not approved as a disease modifying drug but it is known to be helpful so as a multiple sclerosis treatment it's not approved that's correct but they use it uh, those who have been using it worldwide they've been using it in the low dose form four and a half milligrams 
All right. And uh, they found out that they have gotten good benefit uh, with this uh, particular drug. All right. So here we are with the action step. I would love for you to consider low dose naltrexone in, you know, anywhere from three milligrams to four and a half milligrams at bedtime. And that's not something that you can just go and, and do and get on your own. You would need to go to your doctor, can talk to your doctor about whether it's appropriate for you to start this and then have him, you and him decide whether it's a good uh, multiple sclerosis uh, treatment for you. That's correct. And the other thing is look up the published reports on low-dose do, low naltrexone in terms of helping multiple sclerosis. All right, great. So if you like this kind of information, we hope you like this kind of information. And if you do, be sure to click the subscribe button that's above this video. It will subscribe you to our MS Health University channel. And it will also let you know when we post new videos. We post training videos and training sessions like this all the time. And it will let you know when we have new videos that are coming out. So uh, until next time, here's to your health.